Welcome to Interest.co.nz's morning briefing of what's news here and around the world. Everything you need to start the day in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news overnight that the Carlyle Group's mortgage bond fund has defaulted on $16.6 billion of debt. This happened after its banks called in margins of more than $400 million. There's also more news of a recession in the United States. Retail sales there fell, and economists are now saying the U.S. is officially in recession. The latest credit crunch and recession shocks drove Wall Street lower and slammed the U.S. dollar to new lows against the euro and the yen. The gold price also jumped over $1,000 U.S. dollars an ounce. All this meant the New Zealand dollar rose close to post-float highs overnight. It was at 81.8 U.S. cents in early trade. All this uncertainty on global and local markets is causing a flight to quality. You can see that in the applications flooding in to ANZ National's Tier 2 perpetual note issue. After being opened for only four days, it has already received $650 million worth of applications and is considering taking more before the opera closes on April 18. ANZ National had initially planned to take in only $400 million. Meanwhile, there's more news of subdued consumer spending in New Zealand, with a 0.3% rise in spending in February and more depressing news about our productivity growth. It was down again in 2007 and has been on a slide since 2000. That was 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.